So I've changed my setup to where this is resulting in some extremely effortless ball striking and it's a little bit unconventional. So from there, what I've been doing to change my setup is I've been putting more weight on my left side. So it's a little bit out of the books of sack and tilt for sure. And I've been putting about 70% of my weight on my left side at setup. Now this is something that I've been doing purely for me and my golf swing. So 70% of that weight, still been having a little bit of a movement of weight in the backswing, and that pressure get into my trail side, but starting off at that more weighted position. Why that is, is because, as I've been saying in quite a few of my videos recently, and I made videos about it in the past, I am a golfer, pro golfer that has cerebral palsy. So for me, it affects my left side pretty much entirely. So really, really hinders me to be able to get consistently a good weight shift and get my pressure enough into my left side. When I have my measurements done of the forces that get put into the ground, so my rotational, my lateral, my extension, my vertical forces, my lateral are always the lowest out of those three. So for me, the thing that can really help me push my game and my own golf swing more forward is getting onto that left side faster. I've done so many things to be able to do it, which I've improved it massively. But I thought, all right, let's have a little measure and see if it even affects me negatively, keeping that weight into my left side in a distance standpoint. And it didn't actually increase my distance because I was getting into that left side way earlier and way faster here. So it's something for me that has made such a huge, huge change. So it's given me a little bit more yardage, way more control, and it's actually helped my club path a little bit. I would sometimes have it to where, especially when I go up the clubs, if I don't get my weight fast off my left side, my path will actually start to diverge a little bit on the outside and I would present a little bit too much of an outside path going into the golf ball. So where when my weight is, even with my long clubs, that little bit more on that left side, I can have that path maintained for way longer. It was a surprise to me when I saw the numbers of my club path looking tremendously more consistent and where I'd want it to be. But again, a nice one nonetheless. So if you're a golfer who really struggles to get in that left side, really consider keeping a little bit more weight on that left side. So like I said, this is very much out of the books of stack and tilt, but absolutely. I think with a golfer, any golfer, even myself, you should look at everything, look at everything, see what helps you in whatever ways. And you should always tailor your golf swing to your body specifically, which is what I'm specifically doing here with this, not saying this is right for everyone, but if you struggle to get that weight into that left side, maybe you struggle with strike because low point won't get enough forward, struggle with the power of getting into that left side, this will maybe be an option for you. So 70% of your weight on that left side at setup, that just makes it way easier to get some nice quality striking. So if you like this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction, just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I pull a video. So I thought this would be a great one to talk about because it's something very different that I've done with my own golf swing. Absolutely, this is not gonna be part of my main staple of golf instruction. Still the main principles of my golf instruction are very much there. This is purely for me, but if you like it and you wanna, let's say it resonates with you, you can have a go at it too.